So I thought we'd go through some of the main lies that we're told about our sexuality, because that's really what can block our pleasure is that we believe the lie Mm -hmm. and then we block the sensation in the body. Yes. Yes. So here we go. The right partner will know your body. Lie. Why? (laughs) This is the whole romance myth. Someday my prince or princess will come and they will just know my body and I don't even have to explore it. Mm-hmm. Right. So it keeps us passive. We don't become active. And I've never heard a man say this, that the right woman would know how to stroke his penis just the right, right way that he would ejaculate mm-hmm. ever. Mm-hmm. So it's all about disconnecting us from our body and our power. So I just have to wait for the right person. And that keeps me primed for relationships. Right. And passive. So you need to be active. You need to know your own body. And when you find a partner that you want to share your body with, you meet together and play. And it's about equality, Mm -hmm. right? Because if someone's giving, so I'm going to meet the right partner and they're going to give me my orgasm. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of pressure. Right, right, right. That's going to undermine any kind of fun. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, it's setting you up for Mm -hmm. failure because then that person, God, They have to meet a lot of, you know, check a lot of boxes, Mm -hmm. (laughs) right? They have to be smart and they have to be gainfully employed and they have to be attractive and then they have to know your body. Yes. Yes. Every woman is unique. I mean, that's why Betty railed. There is no one special spot, right? You know, it's a whole system. It's a clitoral system that we need to get to know our pleasure. So it's not like there's a man out there that's just going to magically know your body. Or even a woman. Sometimes mm-hmm. we think if it's a gay couple that, or a queer couple that somehow they're going to have special information or special knowledge. Mm-hmm. But there's so much diversity. There's so many erogenous zones. It's like food, a cuisine, right? Your palate, what you develop, what you, I like the taste of cumin or I like the taste of saffron. Some people don't. So it's trial and error. It's connecting to ourselves. And then we're ready to meet the right partner. Mm-hmm. So don't believe the lie. <laughs> Live body sex workshop with the two of us, November 9th and 10th in Cleveland, Ohio. I love that we're doing this in Cleveland. Cleveland is a very accessible city. It's it's easy to drive to. It's easy to fly into no matter where you're coming from. Cleveland has an international airport. So no matter where you are in the world, you can find us. So it's two days. We've dropped the price. It's not like our four-day immersive that we've been doing for the last few years. And we wanted to accommodate Midwestern women, Mm -hmm. women who can only do it on a weekend and maybe take a night or two away from the family or your careers. So we hope to see you in the circle. It's first come, first serve. We're about half filled, but we have about 10 slots open and we hope to see you there. It's selling quickly. (laughs) 